Hey guys, so we have kind of a random background thing going on. I don't know what, what it is, if I'm gonna keep it. We're sitting on my bed right now, so if the camera's a little shaky, I'm gonna try to hold still, but if I move a lot, you're gonna move a lot. It's very hot, uh, but like everybody in California right now, we're gonna pretend it's fall. So I was given this lovely idea by this lovely uh, viewer, and I can't pronounce her name, I'm sorry. And she suggested that I do like a Halloween essentials video, which I thought was really clever. There is a video kind of like this that I did last year, which is the no, the year before, uh, spooktacular tag. Similar, well, not really similar questions. Some of them can kind of be interpreted as the same. So I may make this a tag, I don't know. Um, if I do decide to, I'll tag some people that I want to do this down below. First up, we're gonna do favorite Halloween candy. And I actually drove to Dollar Tree today to get these, and then they didn't have a Dollar Tree, so I had to drive to Kmart to get these. But I have them now, and it is the Mellow Cream Pumpkins. They are so cute and my favorite favorite kind of candy corn. I love candy corn, but specifically the pumpkin kind. And runner-up has to be these. Next we have soundtrack. Now this was an interesting one that she, she, she suggested. And honestly what I listen to around Halloween is kind of um, no, I don't want to say disturbing music because it's not, but I will have some songs listed down below. Basically, corn. Um, I love corn around Halloween time because they have that weird esqueness to. I don't. That's not a word. They have a weird vibe to them sometimes, especially in. Um, See You on the Other Side album, that's the album I listen to most during Halloween, and just because of the creepy sounds at the end of the songs, you know what I'm talking about, the bagpipes, it's just weird. So I like weird music around a weird time of year. Favorite Halloween candle. There is one in particular that reminds me of fall and Halloween more than any candle in the world, and that is Bath & Body Works Leaves. This is the epitome of what Halloween smells like to me because um, I used to burn this a lot a couple years ago, like when I had the Halloween party and stuff like that, which I did take footage of. Um, that was a long time ago, but uh, there is a video out there if you want to see it. But when I would decorate my apartment and I would just always be burning this around Halloween, so this just... It's so nostalgic to me about Halloween, so definitely this one, or the one burning behind me, which I don't know if you can even see. Can you see it? Look, I even have a pumpkin. I'm festive, guys. That is sweet cinnamon pumpkin burning in the background. That's more like Thanksgiving to me, but lately that's the one I've been burning more than leaves, um, which is weird because leaves is my Halloween and that's my Thanksgiving, and then gingerbread is my Christmas which I don't think they sell gingerbread anymore, so I'm kind of devastated. Anyway, as you can tell, I did not decorate my, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I did not decorate my room for Halloween this year just because I'm working on minimalizing everything in my room, so I just felt like, what's the point of putting it up and then taking it down to fix my, I don't know, it just, I wasn't in the mood this year. Favorite Halloween movie. Now I'm gonna have an unpopular opinion here and not say Hocus Pocus, although that is a great classic Halloween film. I'm gonna say Trick or Treat. That is a straight up horror Halloween classic in my book. I love that movie. I watch it every year, well for the past like two years, um, because my first time seeing it was two years ago. It is a great film. It has like four stories within it and I just, love each one and there's twists and weird things happen and it's just a great Halloween movie to really put you in the mood for the time of year. An honorable mention, kind of like candy, for the Halloween movie is Paranormal Activity and that's because, again, it's a little nostalgic for me. Whenever I see Paranormal Activity, watch it or see something about it, um, it reminds me of Halloween because it always comes out comes out in October. So favorite Halloween drink. Um, well, I could say something fancy like blood, but I'm going to say apple cider. Um, I know everyone says pumpkin spice latte, blah, blah, blah. Um, apple cider is the bomb. I specifically love it iced, especially when I go like to Apple Hill and they have like the free little cups. I'll get like five. And then my favorite Halloween outfit. Now this is I mean, you could do costumes, um, of course costumes go, but uh, if you're not doing anything and you're staying in and watching movies, which is what I did last year with my boyfriend, we just kind of hung around at his house and watched um, some movies that were on TV and some scary movies and stuff like that, um, I would wear something really, really casual, kind of like this, and of course keeping it all black because, duh, it's Halloween, so how can you not wear all black? <coughs> That is my little Halloween Essentials video. It's very short, very sweet, but I thought it would give you guys some ideas on what to maybe watch or wear or do or burn. 
It sounds a little, um, a little rebellious. This Halloween season, so if I should make this a tag, let me know. Um, I may decide to anyway. Um, I don't want to copy the spooktacular tag because that's rude. But I might and just call this a tag and copy some of the questions because I like this idea and thank you so much for giving me this idea. This girl, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. <laughs> let me know what else you would like to see this, well, whatever, on this channel. I need some more video ideas so bad. Um, I am doing a shoe collection that's coming and more lookbooks are coming and more Halloween tutorials are coming so those are already planned those are in the works um, but I need things other than that so oh I got a new phone I'll tell you guys that I got the iPhone 5 it's just a basic iPhone 5 no S no C no none of that um, I really love it and my background is indeed my boyfriend because I'm cheesy oh and I have a snapchat now I decided to make snapchat out of the blue yesterday and uh, it was a great decision I love seeing all your snaps you guys have been sending me some and I snap back to some of you which is really really fun um so yeah keep up the snap and family we're just gonna snap it along my username is Sarah Hawkinson pretty easy it's just like my YouTube username so yeah you should add me on snapchat and send me some snaps and I might snap back because it's fun anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys soon bye